I'm going to make a video here, a inbox preview of this tank here, which is the Hobby Boss German Leopard 2 A6EX tank. It, th that's the, the name on the box. I did a preview of the Canadian Leopard, which came out a couple years ago. And uh, it's a newer kit, it's more expensive than this one. This one is about half the price that that tank is. And this is a much more common, easier to get kit. Like Hobby Boss did a series of them. They did all of the uh, weird variants that each of the NATO countries seems to have its own little particular variant. And the reason why I got this one is because I wanted to do a Spanish Leopard. And the Spanish Leopard was actually more expensive than this one even though it's the same tank the only difference is that you don't get the Spanish decals in it um, and then the Hobby Boss also does like the Swedish I think they call it like the the STRV 122 or, or they have some weird designation for theirs and they do various different um, styles of leopards but they're not known to be the super highest quality kits but really I mean they're your only your only chance to build a variant like this. As far as I know, Hobby Boss is the only one that does this one, which is uh, basically the EX is like an export, like heavily armored version of the Leopard. Like this is like, if you were serious about a Leopard, this is what you would have, not the regular A6 or even the A7. I think this one is probably the primo of the Leopards. But Anyways, I just want to do a preview of this kit and just see how it stacks up to the other one, the Canadian Leopard I, that I did a preview on. The kit number is uh, 82403, and these kits are, are fairly old, like 2017 on here. They've been around for a long time. And you've got a blurb on the side here. And your, your typical NATO um, camouflage scheme on the side. You can kind of see the unique sort of features to it with the heavy armor and this little thing that's on the top here. I actually don't know what it's what it's really for, but anyways, it's a nice looking tank here. You can see how beefed up it is. So we'll have a look inside because these kits are not known again for uh, being the greatest, even though I would kind of put them in the middle, like better than the uh, uh, Revell, but. You know, maybe a little bit behind some of the newer releases. Also, the newer releases have so much, uh, like, newer, like, time to get it right and, and see what went wrong with these old kits. Because, to me, I, I think they're alright. But anyways, we'll go through it. So, you've got a 14-step sheet. Very basic, minimal amount of, uh, of steps there. So, that's the instructions. And you're your color call out because I believe this German EX was just a prototype that um, I say Spain bought it I think the Greeks bought it also but in this kit all you get is the the basic markings for it like the um, like when it was on uh, display I guess for for sale so there's that and then I'll go into the parts here which naturally they're going to be different than the uh, the Canadian one because it's a different variation. But this is all your side skirting here, and here's some up armored pieces here, and they all look, they look all right if you see the uh, the bolts and stuff. I don't see any texture, but I'm not sure if that part has texture on it. Oh, you get at least you got a couple options for barrels the A5 and the A6 barrel uh, two piece which I'm not a fan of um, I'm not seeing any texture on any of these armored pieces um, let me see the detail here it does have uh, if it'll show up it does have good detail here the transition between the extended barrel And more parts. I I would think these are unique parts. So they are what they are. 
one piece lower hull, which is nice. This was just like the Canadian one. And we've got the turret is all. Oh, okay. Now the other one it was separate in the uh, in the Canadian one, but I guess you're just. I can't tell if that's actual texturing or no. I don't think it is. They kind of give you the impression of texturing, but I think it's just sort of cut out in that area, so you'll have to add texturing to it. That seems to probably be the drawback to this kit. Again, it comes in at quite a bit of cheaper price point. But all the details on here look you know, fairly nice. It could be built up pretty decent. So it's a turret, the running gear. I mean, they're all right. You're on these tanks, you're never going to see the running gear, really. They're, I mean, I guess you could take the skirting off, but um, it's not common. Yeah, the same thing. These look almost exactly the same as the ones in the Canadian version. And then there's these parts here to your smoke discharges, but it, it had a different style of charger that was like the Swedish version, I noticed on the one sheet. And then you've got the fording uh, snorkel here, which is very cool. I like that they include this. That's a very unique feature that you don't often see. It's nice they put that in there. And uh, they have, everything looks all right there. Like in, on newer kits, I'm sure that they uh, these would be separate, but like I personally don't care. The, this is probably the better way of doing it. In the vinyl tracks, they look they look good. They look all right. Unfortunately, they've taken sort of a set, but you might be able to get that out of there. And they are separated, which is very nice. It's not just one like solid piece. Uh, unfortunately, they are the the vinyl which is good for a quick build or if you don't want to do individual tracks and actual glass pieces here that you have to cut out that's kind of different and your decal sheet here oh yes and <laughs> I don't well this is a very crappy cotton for your uh, this isn't exactly the, the cotton rope I was talking about when I uh, was criticizing the other co uh, the other rope, but the brass rope that they give you in the Canadian Leopard is much nicer than whatever this is. It looks like yarn. It's it's so frilly. So I don't. I wouldn't. If I was uh, talking to Hobby Boss, don't take my advice on using cotton rope. You just just stick with your uh, brass rope and. This is pretty decent. Your typical sheet, not too much. Should be easy to work with. Um, I've got one piece here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out of there. I think it's, it might be stapled in actually. No, I can get it. They got super protection. They do this, I don't know why, it's a common thing to do in leopard kits. They overdo the protection for them but here we go you can see the engine pieces I guess there is a slight in fact I don't know if it'll show up on camera but there is a slight slight texture but it almost doesn't exist so I think if you put paint on that it would disappear it's almost nothing it was better on the uh, Canadian Leopard you can I don't know if it'll show up if I can rotate it oh it might right there it might you might be able to see the texture. It's almost non-existent. But, I mean, at least they did, made an effort to do it and it's not just slick. So, anyways, that's the uh, the piece there. So, it looks like a good kit. I mean, it, I, uh, um, if you're looking for this variant, I wouldn't be afraid to build this one. It's not like a, uh, an older Tamiya kit where it's, supposed to be motorized or anything like that it looks like a nice kit um, this is the um, I'll get the instruction sheet here this one is the German Leopard 2 
A6EX, which is actually the same as the Spanish Leopard. I'm not sure what it's called. And I also believe the Greeks use this exact variant. I, I know they do a specific Spanish one. I don't know if they do one for the other, um, the other one, if they do a specific Greek one, like Hobby Boss. So anyways, if you're looking for this variant, I would not be afraid to get this kit. There's nothing bad about it other than perhaps the tracks. And I mean, it's very easy to get a hold of aftermarket Leopard uh, tracks. That might be the only upgrade I'd make to it, but it looks like it can be built into a nice kit. There's nothing wrong with it. I would stack it up against the Canadian one. The Canadian one, the texture might be better on it, but anyways, uh, this is a highly, highly recommended kit for what it is. It's the uh, German Leopard 2 A6EX from Hobby Boss Models. So, thank you for watching.